Can I ask what you girls are doing? Hmm? Hello? Well, people, that tree had to come out. It was standing. So I wrapped the rope and chain around it and pulled it out with my truck. Pulled it right out by the roots. I knew it'd come out. So there it is, all the way out. Now I gotta cut it up. And just like that, cherry lovers and Joyce, that tree is gone. We got her all cleaned up, looking good. And all it took was all that right there. We did it. Got that one. I got a few more, as you can see, that are dead. It's got to come down one day at a time. Well, cherry lovers, 9.30. All my little lights are starting to come on. What a beautiful night. It's actually almost dark, but uh, this camera with low lighting. So, yep, they're all out coming out. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning, cherry lovers. Well, we got the long needed rain that we needed. We, uh, you guys look over my shoulder and everything. Grass is high. It was so dry. It was hard to mow out here because of sand and everything. So I waited for it to rain. And when, let's turn this around. And you can see how high everything is and needs to be trimmed up. We're gonna get started on that, the yard out there. But let's walk out here to the garden because I'm telling you, nothing was growing until I saw it started to rain. And then all of a sudden, bam, out of nowhere. Of course, if you look down here, that was the only zucchini that we had left. The, some varmint came in here and ate everything, but there's the new seeds that I put in, and we'll have zucchini with no problem whatsoever. We've got uh, the uh, summer squash, or I can't think of the name of it right now, but we have tomatoes over there. We've got to do a little weeding after the storm. <laughs> the shows where I got to do some hoeing, and uh, but tomatoes are looking good. And the tomato plants are all looking good down through there. And uh, peppers are coming back after he ate some of the leaves off. But let's walk around over here and I'll give you a look at what we got going on. I don't, bad part of it is I don't see any corn. Even though I got two places of corn coming or growing, but it's not coming up. But I do see, if you look down through there, Collard greens are coming up. Got plenty of time for them to come up because they're way clear into the fall. And uh, we see the little row down through there. You can see them. Uh, got beans, uh, a late set of beans and uh, peas in there. And uh, I got some more collard greens and onions down through there. They're starting to come up. Uh, here's my beans and peas are starting to pop through and there are my onions and they're doing fantastic so a long needed rain i do not see any corn yet don't i planted that whole section over there and then down there uh we're hoping <laughs> we're hoping anyways that's the garden and uh i'm gonna take you guys along on some of the mowing here not gonna take you out a lot because it's boring, but I gotta get <laughs> gotta get that done today. Get the yard and the farm all looking back nice again. Do a little weed whacking under the high tunnels. And uh oh uh let me go on. Take you to the high tunnels. As for the high tunnel, as you can see the trees are growing fantastic. They are growing like bad weeds. And I love it. The next question is, everybody's gonna ask, let me walk down through here and show you just how great these trees are growing. Are we gonna have cherries? No. 
We had done everything right, pollinated right. We had all kinds of green buds everywhere. We had that 24 degree night. It affected the oak trees, the farm, I mean, the, the garden, and it affected this. We had heat under it, but uh, that was just a little bit too late in this area for that. And what little green buds we had left after the 24 degree night was the next two days after that, we were in the 80s, which brought the temperature up in here to <laughs> well over 90, which uh, somebody said online and I, I knew that that could happen. But then we had what they call fruit drop. Fruit drop is when we go from one extreme to another in temperatures and the temperatures caused the hot to drop the, the fruit off because the tree was stressed. So yeah, we, <laughs> I hate to say it because I'm upset about it and uh, you know, Joyce is upset about it, but there's not a lot we can do. I mean, in this case, we were doing the best we could with what we had and we had it licked, we almost did. So, you know, pollination was great. We did it right and everything was perfect. But mother nature threw us one last curve that we normally never, and I mean never get that late. I mean, that was really late, clear into. <laughs> wow, it just, it's upsetting. But like I said, it's part of fruit farming and uh, that just gives the trees, let me turn it back around. It gives these trees that much more time to grow bigger, to support everything that we need, fruit and everything. So that's what we gotta do. We just gotta look forward and, and move forward. And, and uh, so, Upsetting, but the trees are doing fantastic. They are beautiful looking. They're growing like crazy and uh, We're just on to next year. We can't uh, cry over spoilt milk and uh, We move forward and we do so much better For next year. We're learning as we go along Not always what we want to learn, but we're learning and I've got a video out there It's been a while where it says never give up I'm very disappointed. Some days you think, well, I'm going to give up. I'm not going to give up. Uh, one day, one day we'll have it. But yeah, let me turn it around here. This is what I got. This is my chore today. I'm going to uh, do some mowing. A lot of high grass and a lot of weed whacking to get this all set for 4th of July. We usually only mow once or twice a year. This year it'll probably only be twice because I don't really have grass. It's just what grass is here. And by the 4th of July, usually it dries out, but it dried out so much faster this year that, yep. So, and then on another video, or I, I don't know if I put it on YouTube or not, I put it on Facebook, uh, that sign over there, it's got a lot of wear to it. And uh, I used pine 2x12s, and I knew it probably would, would weather, but it's weathering really bad. So sometime this, this fall, this winter, I'm gonna buy some uh, either some cedar or hickory and I'm gonna redo that sign and and put it out for next spring a uh, new one and then it'll wear and uh, Because you get a lot of mildew and stuff like that up here in the woods up here in the National Forest So it's beautiful. I like the way it's aged But what I think I'm gonna do people is that sign right there. I'm gonna fix it up and I'm gonna screw it to the top of that high tunnel and then put the new one out out front. But anyway, let me get a log, get going here. I got to get this thing cleaned up. And uh, of course, like I said, I got uh, another two weeks or so before Fourth of July. But it rained. It dropped the dust. Well, cherry lovers. Well, any improvement? I hope there is. Sure looks like there is. Still got trimming to do. Took me about, I don't know, three and a half hours to get this all done. She's looking good. Got some trimming. I got some weed whacking out there to do. And I knew I was gonna have to. So I'm gonna go in and eat some lunch. Come back out here and finish. 
that back there it's all a bunch of uh, trimming now because I, I did in, in between her well let's walk out there and I'll show you <laughs> a lot of work oh <laughs> and then I'll show you what I was doing kind of monkeying around today little termite which that's what Joyce calls the Kubota I got these all in rows where everything else has to be everything else has to be trimmed around with the weed whacker and you got to be careful not to whack the tree so <laughs> but that's what we got going on gonna go in and eat me some lunch and then I'm gonna come back out and do some weed whacking but let me show you the last thing I puttered around with today okay folks I'm gonna take you over here and show you what I <clears throat> did I always show you that side of the property and we have five acres here but I don't always show you guys everything I got because it's all back here wooded <clears throat> and uh, I'm gonna start cleaning it all up and, and open it up and then mow around them because there's lots of nice oaks and pines and just kind of keep it open for the yard and kind of make it look nice but what I want to show you guys is I will I've been at it for about I don't know 35 minutes or so <laughs> anyways anyways behind the shed here I decided we're gonna make us a little walk <laughs> little nature trail path whatever you want to call it uh, just so people can go out and you know go for a walk and kind of back to nature instead of the farm <laughs> so that's what I'm doing so I'd kind of cut me a path through here kind of different and I guess like I say when I want to go for a walk it's kind of peaceful and it's through the woods and this is what I decided I'd do it. Clear it open, make a small path to walk through it. And when people are up here, they can go for a walk and they're still on the property. But like I said, this is the other half of the five acres that I, uh, I that we own. And uh, we're only really old, uh, doing about two acres. So we've got about three acres or more of, of open woods here. And, uh, reason why I knew I was still in the woods and this has been hanging here for years <laughs> this little watering can here do you see it in the woods there <laughs> yeah it's been here ever since I've owned a property so I know kind of where this side of the property line is but anyways we took me a little while to get off the brush moved and everything but that little 1500 BK 1500 Kubota pushed right through and pushed all this Pushed all this stuff out of the way. Uh, mm, it's got more guts than for a 15 horse Kubota. It's got some guts. So it done everything I need it to do. And I'm happy I have it. And if you're looking, <laughs> you're watching, Ron, thank you. <laughs> I'm putting it to work for sure. But anyways, it brings us out to the out to the path. Right here. And then it takes us back to the the rest of the properties will all over in that way. And then our swamp down in here. And then back this way, we're going back to the back to the farm. So if you guys like the video, I appreciate it. Thumbs up, come back. I still got lots to do. There's a lot of things on this farm that's gotta get done. I just have to get up off my lazy tush. Hit the like and subscribe. Come back and see us. Uh, hope you come back and visit us. Heaven's Gate Sherry Farm. We're going to still be here. Yeah, here we go. I'm going in to have lunch. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye now. <laughs>